Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free window sizer tool you could use. So if you need to uh, resize specific open windows on the fly to an exact size, you could use this to do so. All right, so this is an older app, but it still seems to work okay. So it's called Sizer. So once you download and install it, you just open it up. And it'll be running here in the system tray. You just double click it here to open it. All right, so here is our menu for our sizes. So it has a bunch of built-in sizes here. And then different ratios, you know, 4 to 3, 16 to 9, 16 to 10, some YouTube sizes. And then you could make your own custom size if you want to do that as well. And then we have some options here for the settings, uh, for tool tips, and shortcut keys. So Control Win Z is the default, which you see right here, to activate it. And then you could load and save your configuration as well. All right, so let's try it out. So we have a file explorer window open here. So once we're on it, we do Control Win Z, and then you can see we have our options here. So let's say we wanted this 800 by 800. That's all you got to do. Then you have all your other options here as well. So I'm recording this video at a low resolution, so things are not going to quite fit as well as if I was in normal mode here. All right, so now let's try making a custom size. So to do so, you have to pick one of the uh, sections here. So let's see if we can do one in the sizer menu itself. Let's say we do call this one test. Let's just do it 640 by 640. And this time we will have it move the window to, let's say, the bottom left when we apply it. Okay, click on apply. Okay, let's try it out here. All right, so here's our test one. So you can see it made it 640 by 640 and then moved it to the lower left. And then, of course, you can move the settings into different categories here as well. And then you could edit existing categories. You could add some macros if you want to play with that. You want to add some groups. If you want to add a new group here, add a separator like this. Add configure sizer and so on. So, you know, quite a bit of customization. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. So, you're probably going to want to make some specific sizes of your own. So, maybe make a new group for yourself, add your own custom sizes. And then, if you need to change the hotkey, you could do that as well. And then, anytime you're on it, just press the hotkey, pick your size, and that's all there is to it. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download sizer and you could try it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.